So one of the questions I get all of the time on social media, so even here on YouTube, is that how do you create the t-shirt designs to send and grab transfers? And that is probably one of the hardest struggles that you're having. So if that's your issues today in this video, I'm going to help you out. People just don't know how to lay out a design in a way that is going to be eye-catching. This is where this revolutionary platform, Kittle, comes in at and what we're going to be going through today I'm gonna to give you a walkthrough on how you can use Kittle easily so that you're not struggling to create t-shirt designs all right so let's jump right into it there's gonna be a link to Kittle down below and Kittle is k-i-t-t-l dot com all right so this is Kittle dot com right here you can see on your screen right now and I'm connected to the pro account. So there's different levels of accounts. In order for you to really get the full advantage of Kittle, you will have to subscribe to the pro account or one of the accounts that really fits your needs. For me, I find that the pro account is actually durable for my needs. All right. So over here now in Kittle, there are different types of design things that you can do. If you look over onto this page, you have t-shirt designs, you have logos, you have hoodies and sweatshirts, you have some marketing things, you have hats, mugs, like wallpaper. There's so many things on this platform that you can use to create, right? So everything that's here is created by either Kittle themselves or graphic designers that they partner up with. This is why I say you're finally going to learn how to do this because the biggest struggles that you have is laying out designs. But what if I told you that they're already done for you and all you have to do is swap through here and figure out which one really speaks to your vibe, right? Which one do you actually like? For example, let's take this one right here onto the left side that says, be patient with yourself, right? So if this is something you like, you're going to right click onto this design here, right? And then I like to open it in a different tab. So once I open that into a different tab, it just saves that idea for me to come back to. So we're not going to mess with that one yet. We're going to keep scrolling through and see what other design really speaks to us here this is like a social media feed right so it's like the graphic designers that i follow on the platform i'm seeing their designs over here okay so this is something that you can do as well once we get into it you'll be able to just click on one of these right so for example here goes the design that we created right on the right here you can see it says the creator's name so when you click on this creator's name it's going to take you into their platform, their feed, their, their um, catalog, right? So right onto the left side, you can see there's a follow button. There's 225 people that's following this designer here. But as I scroll through, you can see all the different things that they have created. It looks like they do a lot of website banners, some Shopify banners. So if you're looking to do your website, this might be some place to start with this creator right here, right? So as we swipe down... Everything you see here, we're getting into the Halloween time. So if you're into that, which I'm not, but if you're into that, you can use some of those type of designs right there, right? So if I wanted to follow this creator, I'm just going to click on the follow button right there. Right now, their, their designs is going to start to show up on my home feed, all right? So we're going to go back over here, and we're going to see what other designs we can use. So this one right here that says wild, live wild, flower, child, right? You can right click on that and open it up and see what you can do. I'm going to scroll and see what else really speaks to my vibe right now. I do a lot of faith-based design and most of my faith-based design that you can find at sundaysmerch.com, which I'm going to link down below. They were all created from here, right? Because once you get the pay subscription, you have rights to create and resell these designs all right so that's where if you need faith-based designs go ahead and check out sundaysmerch.com all right so let's take this one right here like this is something cool that could be on a shirt so i'm gonna right click on it all right so we're not gonna spend too much time here let's just say we're gonna go with this one here 
before I even go and create this design, I like to always peek in on the creator's platform, right, on their feed. You can see it's about to be senior time. This is a design that's probably going to be selling, like this one right here, right, with the football. It says senior day around schools about to open that's something you can do you can print instead of just t-shirt you can print like banners and stuff like that you get the teach the you can get the players the players photo and use something like that right so all these different things are ideas that you can start selling to to customers and say man i can do this i can do that and you can even charge for the design fees so we're going to come over and just scroll through and see if there's something else that really speaks to us. Once you see a design that you like, you'll just click on it. Once you click on it, it's going to open up into the designer. And once it opens up, everything that you see here now, you can edit. Okay? You can edit. So right now it says nothing happier. So there's nothing happier with this goofy face. You can change that text that to something else right let me know in the comments what should we make this say so nothing happier we can change this to just maybe because i do most like most of my stuff are motivational and spiritual and like faith based so i'm going to see what i can do here with this design so i said draw in the right so you can see right now it's going outside the page that just basically means that the design is too big so we'll come over onto the far right side you can see the settings over here where it says text we're just going to bring this down a little bit the justification so it fits within our design area and then we can center it once you click on it you can see the alignment tools up here you can change that so this just says draw in the what do you think i'm gonna put down here morning all right, so joy in the morning. If we wanted to change the font, you can do that underneath that same text area, but we're going to keep ours just as is. We'll center this, and I'm going to bring this back up. Right, so this, so this is draw in the morning. I actually wanted to say draw in the... Draw in the Holy Ghost, and it's way too big, so we're going to bring it back down again. Like I said, all of my designs are faith-based, so if you like faith-based designs, there's a design that is probably going to end up on sundaysmerch.com. So right now, you can see like the stars, the effects are a little bit overlapping. You can either turn it off. On the bottom left, right corner, there are layers. So I'm going to right-click on this, and let's expand this a little bit. And you can see all the different layers that come together to create this design. So the sparkles, we can turn off with the eyeball, or we can keep it on. I like the sparkles. They're just in a different placement than I want it to be. So we're going to ungroup it because they're all grouped right now. I'm right-click and ungroup. This way, I can move this sparkle maybe somewhere down here. And then this one here, we'll move it from on top of Joy and just place it like right over there. Okay, so we'll make sure the face is center as well. I feel like I can make my face a little bigger. So it's like overlapping a little bit. So you can center right and then center there. Okay, so now we'll make this sparkle a little smaller here. So that's the design there. All right, so what I like to do, every design that I create, I like to actually have a black and white version. So this would be like a black and white version, and then we can add colors if we wanted to. So it's simple to change the color here. If I click in here, I can change this color of this text to whatever I want it to be, right? We can do that with everything in this design. But for us, like I said, I'm going to keep it black and white right now. And so that way we can use it for like maybe 15 cents transfers from TKO or something like that, right? And if you need transfers, I'm going to leave that link down below. But this this design is good, right? You didn't have to struggle. There's templates that somebody already created. All you have to do is change it up. So let's say now we want to mock this design up. We'll just come over here to mock up top right corner and throw this on a T-shirt or something else, right so it comes onto the front of the shirt already 
And if you look onto the right side, there's different things that you can put this on. It seems like they're updating this every day too. So big shout out to Kittle. This is cool, right? Because with your one subscription, you have many different like abilities in here. There's even AI in here that we can mess with. We'll probably do a little bit of that in this video or on another video. All right, so boom, let's say this is the design draw in the holy ghost and i think that's a dope design right there i can change the shirt color if i wanted to by simply just coming over here and changing the color of the shirt right but i think again i'm gonna keep it on black just like that and then we're going to download this design if we're ready for it right i'll put the same design on hoodies or I'm actually going to put on a pillowcase so that I can post it onto the Sunday's Merch website because that's what I basically do. I just, all my mock-ups looks like a pillowcase. Okay, so this will be a digital download. And this design here has a texture. I can see the texture within here. If you want that texture, you can keep it. But for me, most of the times I turn off the texture if I'm getting transfers. So now there it is. We got the mock-ups again. Right, there's so many things here that you can use for mock-up that is going to be. I see this new one here that says Instagram. Let's hit the see all and see what other things is there. So yeah, like this is dope. So here's the design. Boom, there's something right here. You can mock this up. This is actually cool right here. That's a good one right here, kiddo. I like this. Right, so that's the design right there. Joy in the Holy Ghost. I'm going to download this mock-up as well. I actually love that right there. So now my design is done. I'm satisfied. Now you know how to design it. How do you actually download this design to for you to send out for print? Okay, like I said, there was a texture over here. If you look into the layer section, we can either turn off the texture or... We can just leave it on there. For me, I'm going to turn off my texture. You can see it changes the look of the design. And another thing I want to do here, we can turn off the background color. You can see now it's just transparent. Or you can turn it on. I'll show you what how to download it even with it being on. We'll come to the download section. Now, you know when you're downloading anything for print, you want to make sure your DPI is set at 300. So we're going to download this for transfers, right? That we can order from tkosales.com. And if you use the link Garment Creations in all caps, you can save 10% off. So I'm also going to change this to inches. And we're going to make this, let's say, a 12 by 12 design. So that way when we grab it from TK, we'll pay 20 cents for this. All right. So the other part I like to do here when I'm downloading, I like to always remove the background because your designs needs to not have a background if you're using transfers. So I'm going to remove the background, even though you have a black background here, but when we download this PNG, it will not have a background. So then I like to optimize the design. And then over here in file type, you have all of the different file types that you can use. This design will also work for SVG if you're still cutting vinyl, right? But I'm going to download this as a PNG and download. We could also change the name to the design, the type right corner. It says nothing happier, but we can we could have changed that if we wanted to. All right, so that design is not in our computer. And if we wanted to order transfers, you can do that by just going to tkosales.com. All right, so that's that. That's like the same process will work for for anything else so you just basically repeat this process over and over and now you finally know how to create designs that sell right and using templates right from kiddo so if you found value to this video go ahead and share it with somebody we don't want to make it too long we'll do another video and walk you through the other features of kiddo like the ai so if you want to know how to use the ai feature on kiddo let me know in the comments. All right. So subscribe and share this video with somebody else.